All right, everyone, Trump a few days ago commanded the declassification of certain FISA materials pertinent to the Carter Page investigation, some of Lisa Page's and, and Sturzok's texts there. I applaud this. I think it's wonderful because the American people have a right to see the witch hunt for what it really is. And this is really Trump invoking the nuclear option. What are the Democrats supposed to do? Now, you've got a couple of them half-heartedly coming out saying, well, no, 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 you can't declassify some of this because it's, you know, it's so important and it'll reveal names. Oh, it's, you know, this makes us nervous. It'll be very funny. Uh, but by and large, are they talking about it? Are they, are, or are they just saying, well, it's a political move? Well, that's not opposing the release. You know why? Because it would look kind of weird if the Democrats were to essentially tell the American people, no, you don't have a right to, own, to see what process was involved here. Fuck you. Here's the thing. I would go further. The FISA courts themselves, their very existence is unconstitutional. The concept of the process of obtaining a warrant, the process of probable cause, requires that it be a public process in which you can put on a defense. It is currently physically impossible, more or less, to launch a defense against a FISA warrant. You probably don't know it's been issued. Uh, it's probably overly expansive. We certainly saw that with what Rosenstein cooked up in the wake of the FISA warrant for the Mueller Pro. Uh, it's overly expansive. That alone violates the Constitution. A warrant is supposed to be more specific, less broad than that, for a reason. <laughs> the whole reason is to prevent witch hunts launched by partisan groups against dissidents or, or heretics, rebels, people like that. That's just like the First Amendment. You've got to understand the framing of the Constitution is from the background of a group of people who were considered heretical rebels. They had risen up and, and fired shots at their own government. It's pretty self-explanatory. They weren't seeking to protect some establishmentarian worldview. They were seeking to protect people who would be reasonably persecuted by a government because they would understand that governments are corrupted by their own power. Therefore, you constrain them to keep them from in that corruption, headhunting after their adversaries and becoming a permanent fixture, having a king or an oligarchy or something. The concept that a person has the right to face their accuser is fundamentally violated by the FISA court system. The concept that they should be able to understand they're being investigated for something and provide counter evidence uh, and to gain legal counsel is fundamentally violated by the FISA court system. And the fact is, these are not technically courts at all. The way that they have been said, the fact that you put a judge in a room and call it a court doesn't mean it's a court according to the strictures that would have been put into place at the time. The concept of a secret court uh, uh, you know, whose proceedings are highly classified would have been considered anathema to the founding of this country. I would go further. I, I think we need laws to uh, get rid of the FISA courts. I think the system should be scrapped. And some people are like, well, it's pragmatism. Don't worry, it's mostly for terrorism. Well, we can't prove that. This particular probe has nothing to do with terrorism. It has to do with collusion that didn't happen. Uh, it's then gone far more expansive than that and has spun off and caused probes into money laundering, and, and violations of the Hatch Act or, or whatever it is, or the Logan Act, I can't remember which is which, and all of these other things, but n none of them were pertinent to the initial investigation. It's just that the scope is so broad and the material so classified, yeah, we're not sure exactly what can or cannot be uh, looked into. Federal judge uh, overseeing, looking into that, said, hey, you have to at least show me sort of the scope of your investigation. I need to see it. Now Trump's saying the American people need to see it. You have people right now calling it a political move and decrying it. Little people, uh, regular citizens, not politicians, not law enforcement, not FBI agents or something. Little people, regular people like you and I, saying that they don't want to have access to the FISA proceedings. But he, here's the thing. From start to finish, this whole thing stinks to high hell. You have British intel that may have been pr improperly fed through the, FBI, uh, uh, through the CIA to the FBI. Several partisan individuals in the FBI fronting this material to the FISA court. It gets rubber stamped, which is why the FISA court exists. It's basically no honest court would, would rubber stamp this warrant. It's too broad. It's, it's you know, we, we need a, a group that we can easily control to rubber stamp it. Can you even imagine the scope of attempted investigations and the handful of cases where they don't rubber stamp it? When even the FISA court tells you that it's not appropriate to conduct an investigation, can you even imagine how shitty those warrant uh, applications may be? And then Rosenstein rubber stamps it 
testifies in front of Congress, he may not have even read it. Oh, I don't recall. No, I can't. I don't even remember if I read it before signing it. That's our Deputy Attorney General. Yes, I think that all proceedings pertinent to these investigations should be released. But it should be that we close down the FISA system, isn't it? Don't, don't we acknowledge at this point that it's corrupt? And this was a thing is predates Trump. The FISA court system has been around for quite some time. I criticized it to begin with. When it was used under Obama, I criticized it and said it shouldn't exist. It's, this violates the Constitution. The same is true now. Trump declassifying things is wonderful. I wish he'd declassify a whole lot more, but I really wish he'd push the issue of getting the genie back into the bottle, getting rid of the FISA courts, and returning to our normal judicial pre-9-11 style processes of law. Any bureau, all the stuff that the government does in the wake of 9-11 should be scrapped. Every single little proponent of it. Every, every little component of it. It's all unconstitutional. It's all a shit show. It costs a lot. It's overburdensome. It violates people's rights. And by all means, we have no particular evidence that it keeps us safe and secure in our homes at all. We have no evidence of it because in every case, everything's so heavily classified, and if it is released at all, so heavily redacted in its new unclassified form, we can't make heads or tails of it. Like with the with Tsarnaev there, what happened there? They were actively investigating the dude. They got a tip off two years ahead of time by Chechen authorities that they had been rad. The bro Tsarnaev brothers had been radicalized. Uh, by the way, you haven't heard much about the Tsarnaevs lately. I wonder why. Uh, and and they were tipped, and they still carried out their attack, killed all sorts of people. Then we're and then you know one of them's on the run for several days, and then <laughs> the Rolling Stone puts Rolling Stones puts him on the cover. Uh, it's so stupid. So, you know, that's basically what I have to say about FISA courts. They shouldn't exist at all. It's pointless. It's not helping anything. When you create such a secretive structure also, it breaks the public's trust as well in, in governance. Now, I, I wouldn't trust governance anyway, but most people would be like, well, at the very least, it's functioning in some nominal capacity within some certain strictures that are appropriate for it. It doesn't appear to at the moment. I think that the average person thinks the government is far too powerful, far too corrupt. Why then should it be able to essentially sign its own warrants at a whim without the possibility of anyone even effectively defending themselves against what could be seen as persecution? And it does look like persecution. It looks like the political structure, the establishment, attempted to persecute the Trump campaign in hopes of destroying him because they're terrified of him. And when they figured out that there was no dirt on him, they decided to create an eternal, everlasting probe that they would simply continuously expand under the heading of too classified for us to tell you what its scope even is so that they could nail a bunch of other people to the wall and hopefully restrain him. That's what it looks like happened. If I'm wrong, then the, the deep state should release material showing me that I'm wrong. We, yes, the American people should, ha should have a much more transparent government. We should have the most transparent government because of the situation of our founding. Instead, we end up with the most opaque government. I think that's rather telling. That's about all. Peace out.